We're group number 10, and our management myth is the effective manager has no regular duties to perform. This is Holly, our general manager here at our accounting firm. This is Tom and Bobby, new hires here at our firm who recently graduated from college. Dude, I'm just not getting this. Me neither. Let's just go get Holly. So after only 15 minutes of trying, Tom and Bobby decided they need Holly's help to get their job done. Hey, Holly, can you come out here and help us? Holly, in her office obviously swarmed with different reports, statements, and other tasks, decides of course she's going to go help her employees, seeing as she is the manager. Dude, why do you think she was so upset we asked her to do our job? I don't know, it's not like she has anything else to do. I mean, she's our manager. So obviously not learning their lesson, Tom and Bobby come back the next day and try a similar stunt. Dude, this is just too hard. Do you get it? No, let's go ask Holly again. She was probably just in a bad mood yesterday. Let me be clear. I have my own work to deal with and I am not going to do your jobs for you. So, after Holly made this message pretty clear to both Bobby and Tom, they came back to the office the next morning with a different kind of mindset. Hey Bobby, I really need some help, man. Well, let's try to figure it out together, and if we fail, then we'll go see Holly. Fact. Managerial work involves performing numbers of regular duties. This work is on top of all of the interruptions most managers face.